afternoon and welcome to GMP Extra. I'm Jane McGarry. Today on Say Yes to You, we're switching careers. Whether you're looking for a career after retirement or maybe you're midstream and tired of swimming in the same waters, can switching to a totally different career be good self care? I talked about it with two ladies who are navigating their way through it. Cynthia Smoot is in the process of doing it. She's a PR person. She's kind of evolving into travel more and more. Mm -hmm. And Jade, of course, you know, Lady <laughs> Jade's always here. And she's gone from journalism and broadcasting to flipping houses. I know. So first of all, I just want to, how is this good self-care? How is it good self-care to well, do something different? For me, I feel like it's about giving yourself permission to change. Mm -hmm. So the girl that I was at 25 coming out of college is not the same woman I am at 50, you know, something. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and I'm, I'm a, I think it's giving yourself permission to evolve and to challenge yourself and just to do different things. And I think that's what is keeping me young at heart. Yeah, but it's scary, too. Oh, so, definitely. So it, but why real estate? Okay, well, it's almost like my radio career. Radio kind of chose me and real estate kind of chose me. It was a door that kind of opened up mm -hmm. and I walked into it. And I'm one of those people that when I walk into a door, I'm not only going to walk into the door, I'm going to kick the door down. So I'm doing flipping. I'm, I've invested in multifamily. I, mm -hmm. um, you know, and now learning, developing, and building from the ground up. So I really am taking this seriously. But you're absolutely right. It is scary as heck. But one thing that I want to make sure that people understand: I thought you had to get rid of the fear before you made a big step. Mm -hmm. No, you got to do it afraid sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it is the most rewarding feeling when you've actually accomplished because it's going to take work. Anything, anytime you change, it's going to take work. You're going to deal with imposter syndrome. You know, I went yes. from being the expert in one industry to being the new kid on the block. That that does something to your psyche. But you got to stick with it. And to your point, there's no more rewarding feeling than saying like. I did this, and I did this for I know me. it is. It is. <laughs> well, Just out of curiosity, what would you do if you weren't doing this? And I know Ooh. you love what oh, you're doing right Lord. now, but is there something else you would do? <laughs> Jane, I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get in the space of this. I have thought about, like, how do I transfer myself from this space into something different? And I think... I'll stay in this space for a long time. You are my idol, so <laughs> I'm going to try my best to recreate Jane's career as much as I can. But <laughs> but I have thought about after since I did the big chop like a year and a half ago, two years ago, like something with hair care, something like, you know what I mean? Because I've had such a hard time finding the correct products. And when I go out, people are like, well, what do you use? Or how do you do your hair? Or how do you do this? Or how do you, I literally get a, like three messages every day, at least talking about my hair. So I have wanted to invest in a space where other girls who have the same hair as me can feel confident. It's because great. It, like you said about the psyche thing, it play like your hair is your part of your being. Yes. You know what I mean? That's where your confidence comes yeah. from. So if I had to do something, but I'm not there yet, okay? <laughs> I, I like this space. Let's, let's, let's start taking notes on that. Yeah. Okay, start yeah. taking notes. So Don't nobody steal my you idea. You're going to piggyback on something Jay just said, I think. Well, I was going to say, sometimes it's about when you were talking about stepping into the fear. I think it's also being willing to step outside of your ego because after you've been doing something for a long time and you are the expert in your field, there's a lot of ego I think that comes along with the fact that you're like, yes. I am an expert. I know what I'm doing mm -hmm. and I'm probably better than 97% of the people in this room doing what I do. And when you step into something new, all of a sudden you're taking 10 steps back and you're not the expert anymore. You're the beginner and you're learning. And so I think it's, it's what is the trade-off in that? And the mm -hmm. trade-off for me is that it's so exciting to jump into something new because I know if I like to your point if I was an expert at this I will be an expert at what I'm going into there it's go. just gonna take me a few steps to get there so That's what would you tell a woman who's watching because I know a lot of women who are either looking to switch because they really don't enjoy what they're doing anymore or a lot of women are looking for that next thing for the next stage in their life maybe you're 60 something and you're thinking <laughs> what am I gonna do for the next 20 or 30 years what would you tell them about like how dealing with the fear but also dealing with what you said about being the new person all of a sudden I mean it's scary to think but those people all know more about this than I know well for me I'm not I'm not leaving my career as a publicist for me this is um, 
it's a secondary career that walks alongside with what I'm already doing. So for me, my, my job is to tell stories, to shine a light on people and to help them um, figure out the best way to tell their story or their brand story. And with the freelance writing that I'm doing or the traveling that I'm doing, it's the same thing. I'm telling the story of the place that I visit or the hotel or the restaurant. Um, and so it's, you know, these two things are walking alongside each other. So I'm really taking something that I just have a personal passion for and I'm figuring out how do I monetize this so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And at some point, you know, maybe it's the scales start to go like this. But for me, it's also it's a great way to network and to end up with clients for the agency. So I'm blessed that what I do kind of goes Ties hand in together. hand. So you found a way to do that. You jumped off the bridge. I jumped off the bridge. <laughs> but I will remind people your gifts are transferable. And a lot of people what don't do you mean tell by you that? that. My gift of being able to connect with people while I was on the radio, even now with me emceeing and hosting, I connect with people. When you get into real estate, it is the same thing. It is a connection space. Purchasing a home, building a home, investing in, in real estate, it's the biggest decision you will ever make in your life mm -hmm. outside of you know choosing your partner so your gifts are transferable I will also tell you this make sure that you're preparing yourself now you know we hear about emergency mm -hmm. funds save money just in case your car breaks down well give yourself some space be disciplined now to save money I was blessed that I had a little bit of cushion so that I could kind of pick and choose mm -hmm. and decide and I had the ability to say yeah no thank you that's not gonna work for me if we don't prepare ourselves now then we will constantly count ourselves out there will never be a perfect time. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's you going to be to scary. Go you have to do bet it. Bet on yourself and bet on the God that you serve. I do want to add to your point before we go of the fact that you talked about you're the new kid on the block. And I feel like sometimes when you're an expert in something, you have a hard time going to someone else who may be an expert in that area that you're trying to go into. And people don't want to ask for help. Yeah. But it is not hard. Like, just ask. I, I, it's not hard. My it success really is literally based on mentorship. Yeah. Yes, my mentors have been like they're game changers for me. I could not do this by myself. So please don't think it's a team effort. And I found that people want to share. They want to help exactly. and engage because nobody, let's face it, everybody loves to talk about themselves. So. <laughs> and, and, and we Take could probably talk for the next yes. hour about this. <laughs> okay, let's just but my producer show. is saying wrap, wrap, <laughs> wrap. Thank you very much. Great advice. Really good stuff. Don't forget to say yes to you. Between flights and road trips, it's a busy summer for travel.